It's been a long standing tradition. It's the women who do all the cooking and the cleaning. But like in your household, thank you. New research is showing a big change. More men are now willing to pick up that frying pan. Jeff, we cannot say the story without letting everyone know. Dan does what majority? Is we 90? I cook 10? every I cook every night. Okay, a hundred percent of the cooking you. in yeah. the Elliott household. Yeah. I say what's the world coming to? <laughs> I bet you do. What's next? The cleaning, the laundry. Do it, know. do it. Yeah. You do it? Yeah. You do it already? Well, yeah. there's more men doing this, and there's a couple different reasons for it, and one has to do with this generation of youngsters who are just willing to help out. Number one, millennials uh, who are becoming a bigger and bigger part of the shopping population have certainly had an effect on, on the way men participate in what's going on at home relative to child re rearing and meal preparation, as well as going to the store and shopping. Now that was Michael Utes of Maiden Marketing who gave Yahoo Finance a few different reasons for this trend. Another reason he says is the recession. It forced a lot of men to stay at home because of course they lost their job so instantly they became the head of the household when it comes to daily activities that involve raising the kids and doing the shopping. Utes also found through his research that men are more willing now to take suggestions for what to get at the store. They're more willing to seek out food prep tips so you may catch them watching food shows. And believe it or not, men actually like grocery shopping more than women do. According to this research, women see grocery shopping as something more methodical or routine. They've been doing it for a long time, but the male shopper finds it to be more exciting uh, or a new experience for him. I, I'd agree. Right. I, I, I wonder agree. if it has we anything are... to do with scoping out some of the uh, other female shoppers. No, Dan goes almost every day. I, I go I'm sure every you do. day after yeah. work. But you know what, Jeff? I will give you a tip. You might want to borrow Rob's little baby girl and oh, take her okay. grocery shopping I've heard sometime. that works. You will not believe all the female <laughs> yeah. attention you'll get. Well, here's something that you'll find a, a bit disturbing with this. <laughs> men apparently are very confused on the meat aisle. Uh, traditionally, men are known as expert grillers, but this new breed of male shoppers don't know what to do with the meat when they get back home. Mm. We have strayed pretty far from our ancestors. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah. What's, what's next though, because will we start seeing women doing the yard work, mowing the lawn, edging the I lawn? I know some who do. Well, that'd yeah. be nice, Kiba. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, oh. <laughs> well, my mom was in the backyard yesterday cutting Tuesday. some dead flowers, she So said. she comes and visits yeah. you and she does so your yard? awesome. <laughs> it's just Jeez. wonderful. So everyone really? pitches in and I guess that's a healthy marriage. It is, everyone yeah. should, right? Uh, absolutely, and what you said, or one of your experts in that story said, the example set at the house will change Wait. the way it is Wait. in years to come. And don't pay the kids for the chores. No, you, it's you part live of the deal. here. But yeah, here's the thing, out. here's the thing, guys. The minute the man cooks up a bad dinner, the women aren't going to let him do it again. Oh, Jack. You know, we're not at good cooks. No, no. Really. Here's the difference. They'll let us do it again, but they'll tell us oh. it was bad. When she makes a bad dinner, you don't say mm. anything. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm. That's the difference. <laughs>